back again. The Tuesday edition of No Edits Crypto, episode 215, coming straight away. Two stories in the news and Z Market. First story in the news is $66 million building to be tokenized on Ethereum blockchain in record deal. For Patrick O'Mara, there is a world of difference between security tokens and tokenized securities. This is via Nicholas Day. Coindesk, a security token merely means an issuer is selling a crypto token in compliance with security laws. But with a tokenized security, it's a whole different world where blockchain technology gives investors an unprecedented level of transparency. Uh, ICP is about to put this idea to the test. Um, in Venium Capital Partners, the company plans to tokenize some $260 million in four private real estate uh, and debt transactions, starting with WeWork Occupy Building in downtown Miami, Florida. Announced Tuesday, the firm intends to sell tokenized shares of, a, of the building, valued at $65.5 million, likely the largest piece of real estate to be financed this way to date. The company placed a deposit on the building last month using an unspecified amount of Bitcoin. Once the other three deals are finalized, ICP will be auctioning off shares and assets represented by ERC-20 tokens on the Ethereum blockchain in coming weeks. So, really awesome story. Um, I'm so excited to hear this about, I, I, you know, I think this is going to be like just commonplace here in the very near future. We've seen a number of uh, deals done uh, through blockchain, uh, on the blockchain now, uh, with now tokenization and... Um, people selling their houses and um, uh, just all, all sorts of stuff, cars and everything for crypto. But I think here in the near future, it's just going to be like, uh, it won't even be a story anymore. It'll just be something that uh, we come to expect. But th that's pretty cool that it's going to be the largest uh, one to be tokenized so far. And uh, more look for more real estate deals like that to be uh, coming soon. Second story is uh, Samsung. I'm sure many of you have heard now that the Galaxy S10 will support uh, cryptocurrencies and also will support some decentralized applications in addition to its hardware backed secure storage for crypto. Uh, so uh, this is uh, the Bitcoinist. I was reading an article about from them and it says last week Bitcoinist reported that the new flagship smartphone Galaxy S10 will include a dedicated secure storage so uh, solution for storing private keys. Uh, pretty interesting uh, and um, big news that Samsung is going to be the first, well, the first major company to, uh, you know, come up with one of these solutions uh, ahead of Apple, and uh, definitely going to be uh, interesting to see if uh, this drives some more, um, some people to switch from uh, their iOS, uh, Apple um, phones over to Android and Samsung. Uh, news coming from Samsung Mobile Business Summit in Barcelona. Fitting that I have my Barcelona football shirt on right now. Confirmed that the storage solution will support Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as as altcoins called Cosmo Coin and uh, Engine. Uh, in addition, however, the smartphone will also support decentralized apps. I get into dApps in my book a lot. Check that out, Amazon.com, uh, Blockchain Project Renaissance. Uh, it will also support dApps as of yet. The only dApp available for Galaxy S10 is called Cosme. Its decentralized nature, however, is questionable to say the least. Cosme is a Korean project developed by Cosmo Chain, and it rewards users with Cosm for leaving beauty re uh, reviews through the DAP. Going through the white paper, however, raises more than just an eyebrow. According to the document, customer-provided data will be stored on the blockchain. So, um, it's definitely something to make sure of when you, uh, if you do decide to get this phone, um, maybe the first few months uh, just be really careful what you do on there don't uh, I wouldn't even store uh, more than I don't know a very minimal amount of cryptocurrency on there if you're gonna go ahead and check it out uh, because who knows how this is gonna work out um, being the first uh, first gen uh, for Samsung at least it does this um, and has this built-in storage and then uh, also the ability to uh, run and um, work on dApps, uh, definitely, you know, like I said in this article, um, there could be a level of centralization still uh, that we are unaware of and uh, some bugs to work out. So uh, definitely do your due diligence and I wouldn't, uh, I would suggest not, uh, always use different passwords when you're getting into stuff. 
uh, create your own uh, um, uh, password specific to uh, this um, this uh, wallet and um, the uh, dApps that you use on there. Make sure that you're uh, always being um, as, as, as thorough as possible uh, from a privacy standpoint. Into the market, uh, we're moving sideways right now. Bitcoin at 0.58% in the red, uh, 3860 Ethereum, 0.69% red, $138.19. EOS down 2.5%, $3.44. Litecoin down 0.85%, $45.42. Bitcoin Cash down 5.6%, $134.03. Two, Monero down 0.87%, $48.67. Dash down 0.55%, $82.86. Neo down 2.34%, $9.03. Ethereum Classic down, up 1.15%, $4.32. Two, Steam, which is number 48 now in the market cap, uh, marketplace. Uh, let's see here. 3.41% in the green. It was up as much as 9% earlier today, up to 35 cents. Uh, so definitely positive things happening still in the marketplace uh, and flash lastly is at 0 0.0036 cents so down 2.85 percent today in the last 24 hours aggregate market cap 130 billion 314 million 640,000 and Bitcoin dominance at 51.99 percent so it's gone up just a little bit here actually it just Literally uh, just now switched to 52% uh, even. Can't remember the last time I saw it even anything, but it's 52 whole number percent uh, Bitcoin dominance. And uh, that concludes this episode. I'll bring you guys another episode tomorrow. Sorry, I was MIA yesterday and the day before my uh, internet here. Uh, we got we had a hard, a pretty hard, uh, brutal storm the other day. And uh, my internet has gone was out until just now. So everyone have a good Tuesday evening.